Forecast. 4.43 is the time right now. Thank you so much for staying here with us on this Wednesday morning. I know so many of you are like, hey, it's spring, but it's not feeling like it, Liz. No, unfortunately, not that much. I mean, we are really starting to kind of drag down a bit, and the wind is probably the That's biggest That's what I was complaint. thinking. Yeah. yeah. In fact, let's talk about some of that wind from yesterday. These are some of our highest wind gust reports across the area, ranging anything from about 40 to even 50 mile per hour isolated gusts. These weren't consistent, but nonetheless, these really uh, put the uncomfortability in the forecast yesterday. Even though we did make it into the low 50s, it did not feel like that. With peak wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour in Van Wert, 53 here at the Fort Wayne International Airport, and even 41 miles per hour in Kendallville. Now we have died down with that wind from pretty much overnight and into early this morning. We will ramp back up again today with it but it's not going to be quite as strong. And because we still have some wind in play, wind chill is going to be a factor. Even this morning, temperatures across the Midwest feel more like the 20s and 30s, and all day long that wind chill is going to drag us down. As we track out wind gusts today, you notice again the morning hours still having a bit of breeziness with peak wind gusts in the early morning hours up to about 25 miles per hour. That's not that extreme, though. As we go into the afternoon, as a cold front passes through the area, we'll see peak wind gusts at times up to 30, maybe even 35 miles per hour. So again, not quite as strong as yesterday, but the breeze is still here. The cold front is passing through the area right now, bringing us partly cloudy skies, dragging in a few clouds at times today, but all in all, keeping us pretty quiet. Future track will show you that. Northerly winds in play today, keeping temperatures a bit more limited compared to what we had yesterday. Yesterday, when we got into those low 50s, now we're looking to only maybe get into the low 40s at that. Future track will keep us pretty clear for tomorrow night as well. You can see right now, temperature wise, here is the fall going from the 20s and 30s up to the north, still holding on to a few places in the 40s, like Wabash right now at 44, 41 in Marion, 34 here in Fort Wayne, right at freezing in Van Wert, 29 in Oakwood, 30 in Auburn, and 32 in Kendallville as you get ready to head out the door. As we go through the next several hours, we're holding on to temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, but here's that wind chill factor. Everything you're seeing in that more pink color are our wind chill factors. So that's pretty much cutting us almost in half when it comes to what it will actually feel like to the human body. The winds do die down late tonight into tomorrow. Tomorrow, wind not looking to be in play. We'll see temperatures still in the low 40s with sunshine, but when you take out that wind, it feels a lot better tomorrow. Going into Friday, we could see a few scattered rain showers in the picture, perhaps a bit of snow trying to mix in up to the far north, although the majority of that looks to hold over in the Michigan state. Over the weekend, looking to be dry with temperatures a bit on the cooler side before we warm up next week, Tyler. Yeah, it was not looking too bad, but again, you know, those cooler temperatures and the wind too, it's yeah. been chilly, so obviously can't wait till next week when it warms up. Liz, thank you so much.